Starting Destiny 2 in 2021? Confused and overwhelmed? I got a video for you. How's it going guys? I'm Tabius Place. Thank you so much for stopping by. On today's video, I'm going over 5 things every new light should know when starting Destiny 2 in 2021. Also, if you're a veteran who's been away for a couple years, this video might give you some clarity. Now, before we begin, remember, if you get any value out of this video, do me a favor and support my channel with a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button so I can bring you guys more content. And without further delay, let's jump into the video. Bungie has evolved Destiny 2 so much recently since they decided there won't be a Destiny 3 anytime soon. The addition of the Content Vault opened the possibility for them to bring back all content from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2 while also retiring old, less used content from vanilla Destiny 2 into the Content Vault. Thanks to this, they were able to bring back the Cosmodrome and enhance the new player experience with the opening quest where you are risen by your ghost and the Guardian? adventure begins. Guardian? Eyes up, Guardian! It worked! You're alive! You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. I recently started a fresh account just so I can experience what it would be like to start Destiny 2 in 2021, and I was surprised at how much it has improved. The initial series of quests in the Cosmodrome to get you warmed up before you jump into one of the campaigns are really good, with lots of tips and explanations like how to shoot or throw grenades, so if you've never played Destiny by the time you get to the main story campaign you should be ready. But before you do that, let's go over 5 important things you should know once you make it past the tutorial. Number 1. XP and Bounties When you first start, it doesn't matter which version of the game you bought, you'll notice that most of the destinations are locked behind XP requirements. So you'll need to earn certain amounts of XP on your character to unlock those destinations. Bounties are a great way to earn XP on top of doing public events, patrols and lost sectors. I have a video where I explain activities, currencies and power for new players, I'll link it down in the descriptions for you guys. Back to number 1, make sure to pick up bounties from all available vendors as soon as you log in if you know you're gonna be playing for a decent amount of time, since bounties expire 15 hours after purchase. Also as you complete bounties, remember to go back to the tower and grab some more. They complete by themselves it seems like while you're working on a campaign or just exploring. All vendors have 4 daily bounties that cost 250 glimmer each, and repeatable bounties that cost 3000 glimmer each, but you probably won't be able to afford those at the beginning, so I suggest you stick to the daily ones until you grow your glimmer reserves. One of the first destinations you go to is the EDZ. The vendor for EDZ is Devram K, and he also has bounties that are exclusive to that destination, so if you know you're going to be playing in that area for some time, you can pick those up too. Believe me, the last thing you want to do is remember you didn't pick up bounties while you're in the middle of a campaign mission or a strike. Number 2. Depending on which Destiny 2 bundle you bought, there might be quests for certain exotics or pinnacle weapons you need to pick up to start accumulating progress for them, so make sure to check the quest archive kiosk that is located to the left of the postmaster for any quest available to grab so you can start working on them. Some of them require kills with a certain weapon type or matches completed on a certain activity, so might as well grab all of them as early as possible and start working on those as you play through the campaign. Speaking of campaigns, I highly recommend you play the campaigns in order if you have the time, starting with the Forsaken campaign, then the Shadowkeep campaign, and last Beyond Light. I know you might be tempted to start with Beyond Light because of stasis, but if you have the time, it's better experience to play them in order. Plus, there is a high possibility that the Forsaken campaign could be taken out of the game when the Witch Queen expansion releases, and you don't want to miss this awesome campaign. Number 3. Work towards fully upgrading your ghost so you can apply mods to it like extra XP gains, glimmer gains, or planetary materials. As soon as you receive your first legendary ghost shell, if you have the resources, masterwork it and apply an XP mod and a glimmer mod since you will need lots of XP and glimmer to purchase those bounties. Now, enhancement cores will be hard to come by initially so you'll probably only be able to upgrade your ghost to level 6. 
but with that you'll be able to add a mod for 10% increase to XP gains, plus the mod Loot Seeker to help you find resources within a 20 meter range. Very helpful. Tip number 4. Work towards fully masterworking your favorite weapon, and this is more for when you're getting close to the power soft cap. Yes, in my other video I explained the power caps and the power grind, I'll have it down in the description. If you just got a weapon you like, a quick google search will tell you if the weapon is decent and worth spending your hard earned resources on it. Reason why I recommend masterworking a weapon relatively early on is because you will generate orbs of power with it, getting you your super way faster than without. Having supers more often means faster mission completions. But also, if you do it too early, next drop you get will be higher power than your masterwork weapon forcing you to infuse, which is very expensive, so make smart decisions. And for my final tip, tip number 5. Don't forget to constantly check your seasons pass. Even if you didn't purchase the current season pass, the free version gives you lots of materials, glimmer and other currencies, which are very helpful when starting the game. And if you did purchase the season pass, which I highly recommend, you get even more goodies. At the beginning of the game, you won't need to infuse any weapons or armor, so don't waste the few free upgrade modules you receive early on in the season pass. Save them for later once you find a weapon you know it's worth investing in. And one more thing before we wrap this up, I'm gonna add a quick bonus tip because I just thought of this and I can. If you happen to be playing while there's an event happening in-game like the Solstice of Heroes in the summer, Festival of the Lost in the fall, the Dawning in the winter, or Guardian Games in the spring, the bounties for these events usually give extra XP and even Bright Dust, so don't shy away from the events and participate in between campaign sessions, it's worth it. And there you have it my friends, 5 things every new light player coming into Destiny 2 in 2021 should know. I hope these are very helpful and make your journey more pleasant. Enjoy the ride, this game has so much to give. Don't try to rush to endgame and enjoy the amazing stories being told in the campaigns. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to support my channel with a like and a heavy attack on that subscribe button so I can bring you guys more content. If you want to get in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Tavius Place. I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you all have a great week, and if you want to watch more helpful videos, you can click right here.